Hi friends, we are talking about the great achievements of Hanuma through Sundar Kanda. Sundar Kanda is considered as the best Kanda amongst all Kandas in Ramayana. And we know that Hanuma is the great devotee of Lord Rama and still he is existing and he is still meditating and in Himalayas. That is what we know about Hanuma. And little part of Sundarakanda we learnt earlier and now we are stepping into the other part of Sundarakanda when Hanuma landed on uh, Lanka. What did he do? Actually he was abducted by Lankini. But he could defeat Lankini and then he started searching for Sita and he faced many problems. Here he exhibited his presence of mind, his powers and his communication skills, everything is well depicted in this Kanda, Sundar Kanda. Let us know the remaining part of Sundar Kanda. When Hanuma was about to land on Lanka, the kingdom of Ravana, he was abducted by Lankini, protector of all demons in Lanka. She said, how dare you to step into our kingdom? This kingdom is meant for demons. Then Hanuma said, I am fascinated by the beauties of palaces and gardens of this place. I just came to visit these places. Then I will go back. No, you are not allowed to enter into our palace. If you want to step into our kingdom, you should defeat me, said Lankini. Hanuma took it as a challenge and could defeat her. Lankini recollected words of Brahma. Your Lanka, including all demons, will be perished when you are defeated by a Vanara. It seems the destruction of Lanka started with your entry. Now I can't prevent you from stepping into our land. She permitted. Hanma put his left foot on the land as he was stepping into enemy's land. He started jumping from place to place, palace to palace, in search of Sita he heard Vedic chanting at one place, music at another place, found some lying on the floor intoxicated, some were indulging in romance, some were waiting for their lovers. He was observing everything in minute form. How can I find Sita? As Ravana kidnapped Sita Mata, she must be in his palace. He entered into his palace. He found a beautiful lady with glittering clothes ornaments sleeping in a special room. Is it our Mata? No, she can't be. She must be in a depressed mood. How could she decorate herself in this way? Perhaps she is Ravana's wife. Yes, she is Mandodari. He searched almost all places but could not find her. He was thinking what will happen unless he finds Sita. Rama can't bear this and die. His brothers their mothers will die. Sugriva, feeling disgraced, will die. When their kings die, all Vanaras can't live. I challenged all. I will get whereabouts of Sita. But I can't go now. I better die. I thought of committing suicide, but... He thought of committing suicide, but his conscience told him. If you die, none can know the whereabouts of Sita. They can't fly hundred yojanas. If not today, some other day, you will know her whereabouts. Such other places which you haven't yet. He stood on a top of a palace and looked around. He found garden full of Ashoka trees. There he found a lady at the foot of Ashoka tree with torn sari and was found gloomy. There were demons around her. He was listening to their conversation. They were persuading her, saying, What do you know about our king Ravana? He is not only handsome, but very powerful. He wants to make you the queen. When they said so, Your king Ravana is like the blade of a dry grass for me, said the lady sitting under the Ashoka tree. Other demons tried to harm her. A demon named Trijata warned them saying, Please don't harm her. She is not an ordinary woman. Last night I 
had a dream in the dream i saw her husband rama coming on chariot of thousands of swans i found all bad omens about our king ravana and all our demons lanka was in bloodshed trizata was the daughter of vibhishan who was the youngest brother of ravana hanuma was observing everything sitting on a tree no doubt she must be our lord rama's dharma patni sita mata meanwhile he saw ravana approaching her and convincing her saying why are you staying here without eating anything and without sleeping if you accept me as your lover you will be mistress of my beautiful wife mandodari janaki mata was so annoyed with him and said are you not ashamed of yourself to talk to a married woman like this you are not even equal to the toe of my beloved drama i would better kill myself instead of accepting your proposal hanuma shed tears knowing her situation when ravana left the place hanuma wanted to make serene atmosphere there which would please janaki he started singing rama's story very melodiously it was so soothing to the ears of janaki mata she looked around he found hanuma as a tiny monkey and singing this song he jumped down the tree touched her feet are you the one singing ram charitra in this cell like place who are you is ravana playing another trick by sending you asked sita no mata i came as messenger of rama to know whereabouts of you rama is missing you a lot if you sit on my shoulder i will take you to ram trust me said hanuma how do i know you are messenger of my beloved drama he introduced himself and where he came from he showed his magnanimous form see mata 